Hey everybody, it's James here. Uh, a bunch of people have asked me for an interior video of the Opus 2 sleeper. And I was in some really wet weather yesterday and I had to take the um, everything out of the interior to get everything dried out. Um, mostly my fault. Anyway, that's a different story for a different day. So I thought I'd uh, walk everybody through the interior uh, while I have everything out. So there's I'll put the cushions back in in a minute and show you what that looks like with the cushions and the table. But this is what it looks like without the cushions. Over here, you've got the electrical box. I've mounted a 2000 watt inverter uh, to the lid with some big washers. Uh, you've got your 200 amp hour batteries and your uh, NOCO um, charging system, which by the way, seems to work extremely well with the solar. Uh, also down there you can see the back of the stereo. That thing is Bluetooth. Uh, and I'll get to why Bluetooth is so interesting in just a minute. Uh, one outlet down there, which I actually don't use. Um, I will be plugged into shore power tonight. I'm actually in an RV park simply because I needed to get this thing cleaned out. It was a pretty good place to do it. Uh, you got uh, more, a little bit of storage over here. I actually keep my buddy heater down here. Some people actually have a, um, I'll turn my blankets out. Uh, some people actually have a heater in this general area. I think maybe over there where the toilet is in this one. Uh, but this is where the uh, residential 30 amp comes in and distributes. There's also another uh, 110 there again, which I don't use. I like to be off the grid as much as possible. This is where the toilet goes. Now, I use a uh, Camco 5-gallon toilet. A um, couple reasons for that. Uh, biggest one is that it holds more. So when it's me and my wife, uh, we can go five or so days um, with uh, before I have to empty it. Uh, if we're, you know, on campgrounds on the Oregon coast or something like that, if we're out in the in the bush, uh, we can go longer than that because we only use it for quote unquote certain situations. Okay, modified king size bed up here. You uh, with a four inch memory foam mattress. You can keep the um, bedding. Uh, on the bed while it's in transit. The bed is a little short. Um, I'm okay with that because I'm a little short. Uh, also, we have the theater system. And this basically, this is the screen. It pulls straight up, connects in uh, the, to a loop up uh, at the uh, at the ceiling there. Uh, you can see it right there by the air hose. Uh, and you could mount your projector on a tripod. Um, other than that, that's really about it. I mean, if you look underneath this one, it's just, this is where the kitchen is down here, what it slid in. Um, so I guess if you needed to have access to something that you left in the kitchen, like I left my, um, peach Bellini, uh, hand soap down there, if I needed that, I could grab that. Uh, but other than that, you wouldn't really use that compartment. This one has the upgraded LED lights with dimmers. Those plug in down there and those are the dimmers. And there's another one over here on this side. Uh, there are also our floor level lighting uh, here, uh, down below the speakers, and then another one over here. Of course, there's one outside as well. It also has a sort of plethora of USB and 12 volt sockets. Uh, there's two USBs and a 12 volt there, and two more and a 12 volt over here. So you got all the power you need. Of course, it's got your carbon monoxide detector and a smoke detector and a fire extinguisher per the rules. Um, also, for those of you that, uh, again, we do this all the time, but this thing is solid as heck. It's not going anywhere. Um, bottom line is, is that I had it, I've had it a couple of times in 20, 25 mile an hour winds and it does move around, uh, but it doesn't flap like most tents do. And it seems to be, uh, doing a, a pretty good job of holding up to this point. Now, one thing I will, a mistake that I made that I'm gonna encourage everyone else not to make is I didn't actually soak this thing um, before I used it for the first time and then let it dry out. So the, the fibers all swelled together to make it watertight. So the first couple of times that it's rained, I've actually had a little bit of water inclusion, uh, which is why I had some drips last night. So what I'll do now, uh, I'll put this the video on pause and I'll go grab the uh, table and cook and set it up um, for uh, dinner or actually what I use it for is my office boom 
So one thing to note is that this is just the way that I choose to configure the cushions. There are cushions for every surface on here, including the top and the back of the toilet and uh, another back piece over here. Um, also, the one back there is, is actually longer. I like this configuration for a couple of reasons. Number one reason is because um, I can get, I can use that area down there as a little coffee table. This area down here is a little coffee table. And then uh, easy access to the toilet, I think that goes without saying. But we never have more than two, max three people in here at a time. Um, so it's not, it's not a big deal to have to configure the cushions this way. Uh, now we'll do a little bit of more movie magic and show you what the table looks like. Boom, there's the table. Now, this is where I actually have one small issue with this camper, and that's that this table is not tall enough and the legs are in the way. So it's okay if you're playing a game and you got one person on each side and you're not moving around. Um, but if you want to get in and out and that kind of stuff, you just can't do it. It would be better with a center supported leg on a sliding table, much like they put in, uh, they, I don't know if they still do, but they used to put in truck campers. Um, it just would be a far better setup than this. And I may actually do something like that. I installed a similar one in my boat. I might actually use this tabletop because it's exactly the right size to make this thing down into a bed. And uh, when my little granddaughter comes along, she's going to have to have a place to sleep and uh, nothing better than an almost queen size bed for her. Uh, now, a couple other things. Um, lots of windows. There's this whole side will actually come out. Come out. Uh, so you can um, basically roll up this whole side of the of the trailer. It's got zippers down here, as you can see. Uh, also, the skylights up here, those have uh, screens as well as clear vinyl. So you can open up those skylights to whatever degree that you would like. Uh, and then uh, the big side windows, back window there, and then another window up in the front. Another thing that is a little weird, and uh, I think that I'll come up with a solution for it, is that that front window uh, sags. So I'm going to figure out a way to either tie it out or have something pushing from these poles or something to push that out. Because if I had my, if I was able to get my head up there a little farther, I don't like sleeping with my my feet this direction. So if I got my head up there a little farther, it would be a little more comfy. Uh, as far as the bed goes. Um, the bed is a little on the firm side, uh, but I don't mind it. Uh, once you, it's memory foam, so once you get settled in, it works pretty well. I think that's about it. If there's any questions that you have, make sure to um, put those in the uh, comments below, and uh, we'll go ahead and respond to those. Like, subscribe, and share, and uh, drive fast, take chances, but stay alive.